Hello and welcome to our 14th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX version 3C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at scaling using the scale 2 action. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 5. If you haven't, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can just implement it directly into your own project. Also, there'll be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So it's going to go ahead and open up our project. So before we do any coding, scale to basically it scales your sprite or whatever you're using to a particular amount. So if you do scale in X and Y by two, it will double its size in the X and double its size in the Y. So essentially it's quadrupling its size. It's like, imagine if it was a square, but it changes its size relative to what its original size was. Whereas in the previous tutorial, we looked at scale by, so you could do multiple scale by, so maybe if you click multiple buttons and that would scale it based on what its current scale is. So let's just get into the code and what you want to do is create an action. So auto action equals scale to colon colon create. And now we can specify, so, 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 maybe so you can see a little better. You can specify how long you want the action to take, the scale in the X and the Y, or scale separately in the X and the Y in case you want them to be differently, and the X, Y, and Z. So we're just going to be dealing with these two. This one you generally wouldn't use for 2D. And we're going to specify how long we want the action to take. We'll put three seconds. Scale factor, we're going to put two. And we're going to put my sprite run action. Specify the action we just created. And now we can just run our project. We go over a period of three seconds is scaled by two in the x and the y. But what we're going to do is scale it by two in the x but 0 0.5 in the y. So it's going to sort of get stretched. So now let's just run this. There you go, stretched it over a period of three seconds, two in the x axis, so it went wide and then 0 0.5 in the y-axis, so you basically squashed. That's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're gonna look at rotating using Rotate Boy. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonosystem.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to our email, or you can just comment or message us. Also, there'll be links in the description to all the source code required. And as usual, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.